If you go pick up a dictionary and look under the term badass, you will see Chris Evans' name. Captain America, the first Avenger. Now this movie stars Chris Evans, who plays Steve Rogers, Captain America. Hugo Weaving, who plays Red Skull. Tommy Lee Jones is in this movie as well. And it's a story about Steve Rogers, who's this just short, really small guy, and he wants to fight for his country, but you know he can't get in the army because just because he looks weak, he looks like a wimp, and he's really sad and everything like that. And then he undergoes this type of experiment that turns him into Captain America. And now he goes off as Captain America and fights for his country. I personally thought this movie was fantastic. I thought it was so well done. They showed Steve Rogers as this really puny, small little kid. But the thing was that you can just see right in his eyes that he was the type of person who would never give up. He's been told what to do all the time throughout his life, but he would never listen. He'd always do what he thought he wanted to do, what he believed in. You know, he was very brave. He had a lot of courage wisdom you know he n never wanted to give up he always wanted just to keep believing and do what he wanted to do never let anyone tell him you know what to do and you'll see that in the very first half of the movie because it goes back into him you know how he's been treated like before captain america and as a go movie goes on to the second set it go it shows him as captain america and everything he does i thought that was really well done how they went in depth with his character Hugo Weaving did a fantastic job. His performance blew me away of him at Red Skull. I thought that was fantastic. If you don't know who he was, he was also in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones did a, had a great performance as well. I was a little iffy with him. I didn't think he would do that well, but, you know, he did a great job. He delivered some really humorous lines, and he got a good performance too. I was blown away by these special effects, especially when they threw in all the slow motion during the action scenes, that was really well done, especially with the action scenes. They threw in different clips of scenes which and put, like, put them all together. And it was it was awesome, you know, all the slow motion with the shield, you know, flinging the shield. Those were the best scenes, and I don't know how those turned out in 3D because I personally saw it in 2D, but I'm sure that pr looked pretty cool in 3D as well. Overall, this movie was a fantastic film, a great summer blockbuster film. I just felt as though it was a little too long. Maybe they cut out some parts, and I mean, it was a two two hours and like 10 minutes, 10 minutes long. And if maybe they cut out some of that, it would make it a little bit shorter, it would have been, you know, a really nice pace, but, you know, it was kind of off a little bit. But other than that, I really enjoyed this film. You know, it's definitely one of those movies where you got to see in the theaters. It is the last installment to the Marvel, you know, comic book movies leading up to the Avengers. And on that note, if anyone has not seen this movie and plans to in theaters, stay after for the credits. You're not going to want to miss it. I'm sure many of you have seen it. It's been leaked online all last week. But it's it's if you haven't seen it, don't watch it online yet. Wait until you see it in theaters because you'll get the full big screen experience. And also, the Amazing Spider-Man trailer will be in front of this movie as well. So on that note, I have to give Captain America, the first Avenger, an easy 8 out of 10. I had a great time at this. It was really well done. I had a blast. Definitely one of the most anticipated movies of summer 2011. Thank you for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. I'm the Movie Guy, and I will see you guys next time.